Hey everybody, Chip Wooten, the DIY Outdoorsman. So glad you're joining me. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons. I uh, want to make sure that you get all these videos that I'm putting together. Today is my first official video. It's going to take a couple days to make it because of the process, but I'm going to be camouflage painting a shotgun. So at the end of last season, I got a buddy who got a pretty good deal on some Sitka stuff and I really like this camo timber pattern and thought, huh, I wonder if uh, I could find a gun like that. So I went and looked around and and you could buy a brand new Benelli shotgun at about 17, 1800 bucks and I got three kids and you know, I'm a little bit on a budget. So I was like, hey, maybe I can take my Super X3 and paint it. And so today I'm gonna show you exactly how I paint do a camo uh, optifade paint job on a Super X3 shotgun. So I will uh, show you all the stuff I'm going to be using to do that. All right, here we go. So we got uh, some camouflage paint here. We got the uh, Super X3, as you can see, with all the deet and everything from turkey season. Just the sheer number of times this thing's been in the field that camo pattern is starting to warm up and wear off so you don't even, I don't even have a front side on this sucker anymore so uh, you're gonna need some spray paint shotgun of course and then uh, this is kind of a strange one it's a uh, fishnet stockings but uh, you'll see where that comes into play later but the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hang this gun up so that I can go ahead and put on the base coat. And the base coat I'm gonna put on this thing is gonna be this flat black camouflage uh, Rust-Oleum. Um, that's gonna be the base layer I use for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the prep for that. And uh, next thing you'll see um, is me putting on the base layer on the gun. All right, so what I've done here is actually taken a, just a tow strap from Harbor Freight tied it up here and this will hang that gun right at the right height where I don't have to touch it and uh, be able to paint this gun okay so as I'm painting this gun there's a couple things to keep in mind um, one I made sure that the gun was completely clean inside and out before I did anything uh, especially wipe it down with even some alcohol beforehand that'll help a lot if you want to take some light sandpaper too That'll help a little bit with the paint adhesion. Um, and then I've hung this from the ceiling that way. Kind of swings free. It's a whole lot easier to work with. And you don't have to worry about there being any sort of smudges. So the first thing I'm gonna do is throw on a mask. Grab my flat black paint. Give it a good little shake. Okay, the other thing I did too is I put a little bit of tape here on the components to help kind of protect the inner workings of the gun. And then I've got a little kind of piece of cardboard for to guard all my stuff for this paint as it goes on. But uh, you can go on it real, real light. And as you can see, I'm just going on there real light with it. Keep in mind with spray paint, you don't want to get real close to it. If you get real close to it, it'll pool up and it won't uh, get on there real evenly. And so um, make sure you stay five to six inches back. do it in streaking motions. I got a fan going in here to keep the air circulating so it's also moving my gun around quite a bit making things interesting. 
All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take this fishnet stocking and I'm going to put it over the end of the barrel, pull it all the way down to the base and make sure I kind of got a little bit maybe smaller holes than what I originally wanted, but we'll see how it turns out. If, it, if I don't like it, I'll just paint the whole thing black again and we'll start over. Most of the year I don't wear pantyhose, so um, I'm not real skilled with maybe the proper way to use it, but you may not be able to tell real well, but now that that's, that's on there, we've really got, there you go, you can kind of tell you've got this kind of almost like a fish scale or like a snake um, skin pattern to it, and what we'll do is we'll, we'll lay our spray paint over the top of this and it'll also give kind of that effect that you can see here in the hat here so here here and because that's laid down black on our first layer it's going to protect that layer so when we put our browns and our our, our lighter colors over top of it um, you'll kind of get that same effect we're going for wanting to be real cooperative. So what I'm gonna do here is tie this excess in a knot here at the end. Keep this real nice and tight. So now I'm gonna go ahead and lay down my other camo colors. What's unique about this camo pattern is, you notice usually people put more like traditional army, you know, your greens and your, um, you know, your browns. And there's some browns in here, but it's really more of these grays and kind of this like real light color. And so I'm gonna do my best to kind of match that pattern there. Okay. We're going to start with our gray. If I can get the top.
tacky on this gun. Okay, so here we go. This is the big reveal. It's been about 15 or 20 minutes. Okay, so pretty cool. I think I accomplished really what I was what I was going for. Okay, so it's kind of dark in here, but as you can see, I really got that effect that I was looking for here on the gun. Might need a little bit, maybe some more of the lighter color in there to get closer to that timber, but it really depends on which part you're looking at. If you look at that part, man, it's, it's pretty spot on. But if you're looking at one of these more kind of open places, it's a little, it's a work in progress. So uh, I'm gonna try and figure out how to stretch this part out and finish up this barrel and then, uh, I figure that out. Well, yep. okay, so what I'm going to do here is at the top, I'm going to stretch this out real tight so I've got some bigger, some bigger gaps in there, and then that way I can um, get the paint there up top too. that did exactly what we were trying to do right before the pantyhose heck yeah that looks awesome well I'm really happy with the way this thing turned out I'll get it in the light inside where you can maybe see a little bit better okay so here is our finished product as you can see you got the Really cool kind of scale effect. Going on down. Into the gun. And uh, did all this for about 30 bucks, which beats the heck out of a $250 camo paint dip. And man, it, it looks great. It's exactly what I wanted it to look like. So. You guys uh, go home, pull out an old shotgun, give this a try yourself. If you're thinking about getting your gun dipped this year, try this first. If this doesn't work, you can always you know, sand it all off and take it and get it dipped anyways, but uh, might save yourself some money. And uh, also get the pride of knowing you did it yourself. So uh, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. Look forward to putting out some more videos for you. and. Uh, See you here uh, in the next installment of DIY Outdoorsman.